Hi, today I'm gonna document a little bit about um, a day in my life here as a real estate investor. I've been doing this for nearly 20 years now and thousands of deals and uh, seen and done quite a bit of different types of deals. Um, but I'll try to show you a little bit of uh, what might happen in a, in a typical day. And um, this morning I woke up and ran five miles and got my workout in and got the kids, uh, make sure the kids are up and out uh, for school, uh, get everything rolling and then um, went to see my CPA. I want to talk to him and have a little strategy meeting to set the strategy for what, what was going this year and then what we're expecting in the next couple of years. Um, always important to have a good CPA on your power team. Now your CPA needs to be, to, to be a good power team member, it really needs to be a real estate focused CPA. So a, real, uh, a CPA that's got other clients in the real estate um, area that are doing things similar to what you're doing. So if it's a CPA that is really good and has a large practice in um, helping the medical profession, doctors and chiropractors and things like that, that's wonderful, but how's it gonna really relate to your real estate dealing? So find a CPA who is um, uh, knowledgeable, has other clients in the real estate space, especially in the real estate investing space, so you understand about how you're taking down properties or working through properties, how wholesaling might work, assignments, double escrows, things like that. And they'll be the best uh, person to help you on your power team. Definitely a very important power team member. We have a bookkeeper who's also fantastic and she um, helps us with the, the daily books and getting everything into QuickBooks. But then at the end of the year, we take those files and send it off to the CPA. And then the CPA is of course the tax strategy just a tax expert and they do the IRS filings and then also uh, strategic um, tax analysis. Um, so that's what we were at, at working on today. Um, now I'm uh, heading to a uh, property uh, downtown, downtown Phoenix area, uh, which is uh, like an old motel that's been uh, turned into apartments, I believe. Um, i would take a quick, quick peek at that and try to get more information about that property. This is a old motel building. It's set up here. There's about 17 units in total. And we understand through a realtor friend that it might be coming on the market or it might be available to purchase as an off-market property. So just taking a quick peek at this and saw some other pictures, but I thought I'd drive it and check out the area as well. So we'll run some numbers on it and see if it makes sense for us to drop some earnest money and uh, purchase this this bad boy. So now I'm up in North Phoenix and I'm helping an investor friend with this property, uh, just giving him some free advice and helping him out. Uh, he doesn't get around real well, his health isn't great. So I'm coming out here to check out this house for him and just write up a final punch list for the contractor of any items that they might have missed or overseen or things little small value as I know if we spend a few bucks, we can make it much better. So I'm gonna write that up, I'll go through each room, check everything out, uh, ask, ask the guy a few questions and then try to really uh, just find the, make a final punch list for him to do, clear everything up and then they'll be able to get this uh, on the market and uh, hopefully sell it and do well so again it comes from an investor friend he uh, just is not able to get out his health isn't great so really just trying to help him out my next stop is up in far north Phoenix um, and it is at a escrow company. Um, in Arizona, we use uh, title companies, escrow companies, as opposed to attorneys to uh, actually do the transactions, the escrow transactions. Um, however, we also used in this particular deal, attorneys on both our side and the other side to get this deal done. Um, this is a, a large escrow uh, consisting of a, a bar, restaurant, tavern, um, and some other property, as well as a non-performing note that we're looking to buy from the owner of that note. Um, he has uh, not been paid on it in years and it is um, associated with a bunch of other real estate, about seven or eight other uh, pieces of real estate. So all in all, this could be a really cool deal. Um, we've been working on it for over six months now. Uh, like I said, got the attorneys involved, had them write up a customized agreement for this one. So this is not the one where you just use your one size fits all agreement, but this has uh, been a, a cool deal. Uh, we're about to open escrow now and then start our due diligence period and hopefully we'll find a good solution uh, for, that'll work for everyone and we'll get this deal done, get the note purchased and then um, figure out a way to monetize uh, our 
interest in the note uh, with the real estate that's behind it. So pretty cool stuff and we'll get rolling on this and update you on, on it later. So I just opened up Escrow at the uh, title company right behind me here. And uh, that is just another excellent power team member that you want to have is a very experienced escrow officer, someone that understands your type of transactions. Uh, again, we do a lot of double escrows, a lot of assignments, a lot of tricky ones. The, the deal I was just explaining earlier to you is an extremely complicated and unique deal. Uh, it's, it's one that she probably hasn't even come across so much lately, uh, but uh, she'll get up to speed and she'll figure it out and we'll work together to get it done. Uh, so another real good, important power team person is to find an escrow officer that really understands your business and is reliable dependable gets it done for you um, we use uh, three or four different key escrow officers um, so we always like to have uh, several working with us at any one point in time in case one is on vacation or leaves or transfers we uh, still have some others to go hey I'm back down in central Phoenix area now central Phoenix neighborhood this is a remodel that we're doing is uh, stop by to check on the progress from the crew uh, it's an older home. Uh, we've done an addition and uh, we're getting rid of stucco right here, as you can see. It's a red brick. It's a bit, kind of gave it a distressed look in the front. Take a quick look inside. Most recently, we were adding all the insulation up here after we had made a number of uh, room layout changes. And so we're getting it ready for the city inspector to come on in and uh, hope we approve it. And then we'll continue on with our permits and get everything done. There's a big open um, open area now. It used to be very boxy before. The kitchen used to be right up in the front. Now we've moved it back here towards the back of the house. So we'll be looking out the back windows. And that'll be all living space there. Master bedroom's over there to the right. And then this is a big addition here. Whole big area. There'll be a family room. With some really cool sliders going out there so these uh these sliders will all pull back and um, give a really nice effect a good indoor outdoor feel so it looks like they got the installation done i'll take a quick pass through the rest of the house but other than that that's uh really what i need to see on this project and then i'm going to be off down the road uh, to the next one so next up is a uh, place in right near downtown phoenix where I've um, got a sober living home. This is a place where folks come when they want to get away from a halfway house and they're ready to move on. They've been through Alcoholics Anonymous and ready to get their life back together. They come to a place like this to uh, kind of uh, be around like-minded people instead of going back to their old neighborhoods and their old habits. And they um, recover here and then hopefully go on to, to get back in a normal life and back with their families and everything else. Uh, we've got um, combined two different buildings. Uh, seven private uh, bedrooms. We keep uh, ours very private. Uh, each Everyone's got their own bedroom instead of uh, being bunked up with everyone else. There's uh, three bathrooms and two kitchens. And I've been running pr properties like this for about um, 15 years now. I have at least one of these. Sometimes we've had up to three of them. Um, so just a nice little place. It comes fully furnished. Uh, they can just kind of come in with a toothbrush and their clothes and they're good to go and have a nice safe place to be at. Um, so it's a kind of little gift back for us, and I'm, today I'm just dropping off some uh, Christmas gifts uh, for them, some gift, gift certificates for each one of them, and uh, then I'll be on to the next place. Well, here I'm at the site of uh, another one of our properties. It's a house right there. Uh, we're at the end of the canal. There's the street there that dead ends right here by the canal and the canal runs right along our property so we own the house that's right here as well as this land back here behind it the reason we bought it is it's a zone for multi-family and it's about two-thirds of an acre in total so we're hoping to put 16 to 18 units on here and we've started the planning process to get that all done now i the reason i'm here today is that i received a notice from the city of phoenix saying that um, the weeds and uh, there was some trash that had been dumped out on the property that we needed to clean up. So that's why I'm here to kind of check on it and see how much work's going to be required. So it looks like we got quite a few dead weeds here and uh, certainly some wheelbarrows of trash have been kind of brought in and, and dumped along the way. So we'll have to handle all that and get it done. But this will eventually be hopefully a nice new development. Um, we have our renter in this house right now, uh, just renting from us and we're leaving it that way until we're ready to 
go ahead and uh, get their development done, at which time they'll take the whole property then and we'll build some nice new units and have a couple cool ones kind of looking out over the canal, which will look nice from up above there. So the sun's getting kind of low and uh, I'm gonna pack it up today as far as uh, seeing properties and uh, get back on the road, head towards home and uh, keep, uh, keep following up on my um, voicemails and my, my other work. So as I'm driving during the day, I'm typically uh, clearing voicemails between appointments as I'm uh, on the road. I just uh, let my Bluetooth do the work and uh, uh, call people back and talk to them. Critical texts, I handle them. I uh, pull over the side of the road, handle those throughout the day. Um, tend to talk to uh, lots of buyers, um, occasional sellers, and then of course our, our power team members, our development teams, um, whoever might, we might be working with on certain projects. So um, it's uh, what I love about this type of real estate uh, investing is that it is a, something different every day, you know. Some of these projects may lag on for a few months or even longer, some of our holdings we've had for many years, but it's still fun to go and check up on those projects. The ones that are fix and flips, the ones that go by in a few months, uh, the progress can be extreme between from week to week as to what gets done. And that's always cool too. So uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, I love what I do. I love get, getting out and about and meeting uh, and talking to our members of our power team, our buyers, our sellers. And um, I hope you've enjoyed uh, spending or at least virtually uh, taking a little ride with me today and, and seeing a little piece of uh, how, my, uh, t uh, how a typical day might go for me when I'm out on the road.